So this is Updater Analytics running on a brand new data feed um, called IEX and um, it's a free exchange in the US offering free real-time prices, really, really powerful. And Updater has been working to bring this data in so that you can effectively have um, free real-time prices. And I'm recording this just before the market opens, so in a moment um, we'll see all these prices um, updating in real time. And this is one of the really big things, of course, with exchange fees, uh, a lot of people are always behind the market at that opening point. Uh, and there are places where you can go and get real time data, but to have it free and freely available. And there we see the market open, and um, this is coming all free real time from IEX. So, really, really powerful. And um, so, just a little bit about the IEX exchange um, it's, it's basically at uh, IEXtrading.com. It's a brand new exchange, open only at the end of last year. And Updater brings this data in uh, across all its products now, our home professional enterprise product. So if you're an updater user, you can add in this real-time data from the US. Really, really great. And it's all you know available on the internet nowadays. You can go on Google and Yahoo and get all this data. But the problem is it's not really that um, easy to do the analysis with. And that's where Updata just comes into its own. Also, on top of that, the IX daily and weekly histories are not that long because the exchange hasn't been going for that long. So um, basically, Updater stitches on uh, the long-term histories from Yahoo and the um, short-term intraday histories, which are all updating in real time from um, uh, from the IAX exchange. And so Updater hosts this data and we're storing it. So uh, here is a daily history. This is, as I say, stitching on the Yahoo history so that you've got up to 40 years of, of data there on the daily chart. When you go to the 60 minute chart, your intraday data is then coming from IAX and these charts all updating in real time. So that's really fantastic. And of course, if you want to go right down to one minute data, it's super fast, all that data um, available in your updater system free. So, uh, and you can see we go back now several weeks and that data is building all the time. So a really great addition. I press the T key, I get all my trends and targets on this data in real time. So these are real time targets that I've got on Apple at the moment as the market is trading in real time. So it's just really, really powerful for that ability to apply all the analytics that you would normally do an updater and you see how quickly we're scanning through the real-time data the difference is my weekly my daily and my 60-minute charts are all up to date full data um, real time so it's a really amazing uh, service when you consider that it's free it's free on your updater system and that ability to chart and analyze real-time data is just brilliant you'll find um, all the lists and libraries so if you go to your updater screen these are many of the feeds that we're compatible with if you want to go and grab this same screen that I've got you can just grab the IEX layout there is a, a, an image of it you download it and then you can just run it straight away uh, also in terms of the quote screens in our library also we've got more lists so we've got the Nasdaq 100 the Dow Jones uh, 30 so you can build these lists all the time and so it's just really 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 powerful and if you want to add this data to your updater system and this is the great thing about updater from the tray icon these are all the compatible systems that updater is compatible with and so you can go and grab um, whatever system you're using a lot of these systems of course will be paid for systems but IAX and Google and Yahoo finances all um, systems that I've enabled on my service. So you just enable IEX here and straight away you'll be compatible with this real-time data, free real-time prices from the US market. And the beauty of that of course is that you can run multiple servers so you can mix and match your data. So you can see uh, I've got quite a few different services um, available to me here. So I'm running Google Finance, IEX and Yahoo Finance and various other feeds as well. And if you want to configure that just go to the configure feeds uh, section It'll, take, it'll step you through configuring feeds, choose IAX and you'll have that uh, feed out of the box. Go and grab the quote screens and you can then start manipulating that data or you can just straight away start searching for codes. So if you don't know the code uh, you can say for example let's type in micro, micro um, 
just hit the find key and these are all the uh, stocks that it's returned with um, micro I can see Microsoft there so I can open it that way of course the other way I can go and open that is just click on ticker and type um, MSFT if I know the ticker really quick for getting around if you know your ticker and of course it remembers the tickers for you so um, now I've got two charts of Microsoft open there so it just gets you to that data really fast so you could run um, a whole different set of feeds and bring this data in and if you're not sure um, which feeds you want to look at on the updater just go to the trial buy section here click on um, the full program comparison or to compare feeds on the updater website this is updater.co.uk and you can see a demo of updater running on all the different services including of course this demo running on IEX so you can see for yourself how updater would run on those systems and of course you can run on multiple systems so it allows you to bring this data in from this service you might want to bring Indian data in from our partner True data in India um, you might want to bring European data in from Teletrader in Austria which we're compatible with or DTN in the US it doesn't really matter where the data comes from we're compatible with a whole host of feeds and as I say you will find those in the tray icon so if you want to see the different services and also you can see videos as I said so you can uh, go and do that of course once you've got all this data it becomes really powerful and updater there's a whole series of different things you can do but uh, let's just run a scan so if I write uh, a new scan in updater um, really simple let's go for um, uh, let's have a look at um, some patterns so you can scan for different patterns what I'm going to scan for is divergence and what I'm going to look for is divergence on the RSI and um, this is a, a really um, difficult thing to scan for you add the condition and we'll save and run we'll just call that um, divergence one div1 I've already got one called divergence one call it divergence two and now we we'll run that on our list and you'll see that I've got a lot of different lists here because I run a lot of different services but IAX NASDAQ 107 stocks run that scan it's asked it's saying there's a lot of intraday data and it's going to go away and run that scan for me now so um, you can see how quickly it goes through there and now I just click this button here scroll through the charts and these are all the charts in the NASDAQ 100 that have got divergence between the RSI and um, the price so here we see price falling on Apple RSI just rising a little bit so there's some divergence there um, so it's always good to be able to just scan for these sorts of things and um, really the power in doing this is you can um, run all sorts of different scans so um, if I wanted to and there's saved scans in our libraries so you'll go and find you can find a whole load of different ones that are pre-written in our libraries um, one that I uh, and then it will remember the ones you wrote so here I've got one which is a point and figure scan we can actually just have a quick look at how that looks uh, so if I just just edit that what I'm looking for is a 0.1% log scale and very complex doing 0.1% log scale charts and I'm looking for any stocks that have got a 3% upside but I want to look at that on the 60 minute so I can go and run that but I'm going to do it on 60 minute data and this is the beauty of um, this again on updater because the 60 minute data now is so widely available and in real time uh, again it's warning me um, so now because it's intraday it quite a, it will have to go and get the latest prices and so it's doing that at the moment it's getting the latest prices scanning through looking for those double tops and here we have the chart so we can actually scan through and look for the stocks that are giving me those upside targets so there's one with 5% Akamai 12% uh, so this allows me to find the stocks that have got those upside targets and we've got a double top breakout as well which was part of my conditions uh, sell gene is another one there so um, really really powerful for getting to those stocks all these gray ones are the new ones in today based on today's moves and of course we're only here at 14:38. the market's been open eight minutes on delayed data I'd have to wait for 15 minutes and that data would be 15 minutes behind the market so what I'm scanning for here is real-time data so really really powerful in that regard and of course update doesn't stop there you can go and write your own systems so for example we could write a system um, 
on uh, and if I'm going to use a stop loss system this is just one of my favorites again you'll find over a thousand pre-written systems in our libraries and you can see the charts for all of these um, every custom indicator you can think of a pre-written system so what I'm going to do here is optimize my parameters that are in my code I'm going to do a quick optimization and I want to see what would happen if I go between um, let's say I go between 0 0.1 I'm going to do this on very short term time series data and um, let's say 2 and so I'm, I'm going to test between 0.1% and 2% looking for the optimum stop losses to trade Apple um, so I go and select Apple and I can just type the code in it remembers the codes that I've used in the past and I'm going to do this on one minute data you'll see here all those data sets are available all the different time frames but I'm going to do it on one minute one minute data remember there's a lot of it um, you've got you know every obviously 60 data points an hour you know, several hours a day it doesn't take many days before you've got quite a lot of data to back test and as we're watching this test run it's doing a series of passes here and it's showing me where this um, optimal stop losses at heading and it's looking around the 1% uh, this is long and short remember so it's it's in a optimized for long and for short and it's going to it's done those passes it's it's finished and here are my individual results these are the top 10 results uh, the number of trades and here it's saying 0.2% and 1% this one produced the most profitability here are all my uh, sharp ratios and all of that sort of thing and then I can go and look at the chart and here we see the chart for trading this with the trades and so this is on one minute data over the last several weeks and we see when Apple is moving sideways with this strategy it's quite challenging to make money but when we get the big moves in Apple that's when we see our equity curve move up so we are seeing quite significant um, value in being able to trade the system and of course you can then say alert me based on this system and um, send that out to trading so really really powerful here why not give this a try and update a free real-time US stocks um, the whole market so really really powerful of course uh, the liquidity is very much in the um, in the big caps um, and you can just see how quickly you can move through the data so in fact we can just uh, see where the uh, big moves today are so JDCom so I just literally clicked on my percentage column there JDCom Amazon and I can just literally go through where the big moves are just by clicking on that column and looking at my long-term medium-term and short-term charts why not give this IX data a, char ch a try download the latest copy of Updata, get a free trial, see for yourself, really, really powerful. No matter where you are in the world, you can download this uh, uh, real-time US data. Extremely powerful. Give it a go now.